Good afternoon guys and happy Thursday to all of your sunshiny faces. So today guys, I ran some errands. I actually need to go to Target because I'm completely out of foundation. I scraped like the bottom of the jar today trying to get the last out of the three bottles like that I had left. Um, and because they were all like different types and like I don't know why I didn't just throw them out anyway, but I'm kind of happy I didn't because there was like a tiny itty bitty little bit left in each one of them that has lasted me like the last couple days because I knew like over this weekend I was like I need to go get some foundation. But um, yeah, I waited until like the last minute possible and I threw out them today. I was like, okay, I have no more foundation. I gotta go pick some up. So um, I ended up going and getting, I was going to get the Wet n Wild, but they didn't have it at Target. So I just got, um, well, I was going to get two different types so that it was like kind of stocked up for a while. I got the Maybelline Matte Poreless Fit Me Foundation. And the problem was last time I ended up getting it, it was a little bit too bright. And then I was also thinking too, like, because it is summer and, you know, possibly I might get a little bit tanner. Um, I don't want it to be like super like ghostly white on me. Um, so I ended up going with just like, I think it's like, it was 110, which is the lightest shade they have. Um, and I ended up going with 115 this time. But in the powder, they only have 110, I think, as... But the pro the thing was, the powder wasn't too dark for me. It was the actual, like, um, what's it called? The uh, liquid foundation that was too dark. So, um, yeah. I. But the other thing that I do kind of want is, like, I've seen people have those, like, um, makeup, like, scoops for, like you can put in the bottle and get the last of it out. So I kind of want to invest in one of those because you guys know I'm like way too frugal to throw out even the little last dripplets of foundation that are left in there. So um, but anyways, for dinner tonight, guys, I ended up making the butternut lentil curry. Um, and oh my gosh, the last time I had it was so good. So that's what I'm having tonight. Oh my goodness, guys, it smells so good and I am so hungry right now. So I got rice and then the curry as well. So. It was like so good, seriously. The last time I had it, guys, mm, it was just delicious. So um, that's what I made for dinner again tonight. And I want to see if it tastes good because last time I don't think I had any of it cold, but I feel like I made too much extra. Like I probably should have cut the recipe like in half or something like that because like even though I can eat it, like it was like nobody else really wanted to eat it. So, but that was for dinner tonight, so it's too bad. I never ended up having any of the leftovers the last time I made it, so I want to see if I can this time and how well it will taste. Can you put it? Get it, Bliss. Get the ball. Blissy, get it. <coughs> get it. Get it, Bliss. I don't want to go in that cage. Here, Bliss. Bliss. You ready? Go get it. Get it, Bliss. Get it. Come on, what's up? <laughs> Come back with nothing? Good girl. I just had some after dinner blueberries and I have no clue if I've got like black stuff all in my teeth so excuse me guys if I do I really hope I don't though um but I am editing right now it's the top of the ninth in the Cubs game they're down four to one right now um and they were they did lead they scored I Brian hit a home run someone hit a home run and then the second inning they ended up hitting um I don't remember what they might they hit something and ended up getting one run to score and then they hit a three run homer and it's been that way ever since like nobody scored since like the second inning or something like that um and it's like the ninth inning but I got one vlog edited already I actually totally spaced out guys completely forgot to upload today um but I did I'm editing a second vlog for right now and it's actually May 5th and today is June 8th I'm nearly one month behind like just within a couple of days but I'm really happy about that um like honestly guys I could probably almost be caught up like maybe within like a week or two if I had been consistently like doing like you know almost four a day or something like that but like over the weekends I don't really like hard press myself to make sure I get them done and there was like one or two days too where I only got like one or two and like today too and I didn't get any one day or something like that out of the week but also too after dinner we ended up having which I already put away and got all the stuff soaking in the sink to all the dishes so that's nice I don't have to worry about that 
But um, what I did end up doing was we actually took the dogs out, the puppies and Bliss all at the same time and let them play around for a little while, like probably about an hour or so to this afternoon, um, which is like, we need to supervise because Bliss, she is doing pretty well. She's, it's really weird. Like she doesn't, like she'll like go up and sniff the puppies and stuff like that and like kind of play with them like they were chasing each other and stuff like that like she was actually running and bravo was chasing her charlie is like totally freaked out of her like he'll just like come near us when she's out but bravo's a little bit braver which like it's weird though because i think charlie i i think charlie's like internally a little bit of a chicken even though he doesn't really seem like he is um but i think he honestly get freaked out like of things and bravo is just like kind of dopey where he doesn't really notice what's going on and he's just like oh everything's fine and dandy and stuff like that but he's really sweet like he'll follow bliss around and stuff like that but like earlier today too like he was trying to sniff her and stuff like that you know just like to you know i think he wanted to try and get her to play with him or just wanted to like you know do what dogs do and sniff each other and bliss got really freaked out about that like she doesn't like when they come into her space but she will go into their space kind of like you know like if we are like okay enough bliss you know and like separate them like she'll kind of leave them alone or whatever and like let them be um you know but like she gets very like freaked out like if they come and approach her so you know it's like there's a lot of working with her that we have to do but it was really sweet like I said they were like chasing each other and the thing was too we had them do it yesterday and Bliss was kind of just being the chaser and they weren't being the chase like they were just being the chasees and I did read some stuff too about dogs like that you should watch when that happens because a lot of times like um that you know you don't want that to be the behavior like she's chasing them like prey thing you know or like something like that or even to just like that she's bullying them or whatever which i think it kind of is so i'm trying to like make sure that like you know if i notice like they're kind of getting cornered or you know like she's chasing them and they're kind of like done they don't want to anymore or whatever that i kind of like break it up and again it's kind of just you have to pay attention so much to what's going on so you really need to be it needs to be like a one-on-one -on -one kind of thing with them and like we need to be like Hawkeyes kind of watching them right now just also to make sure too because when she does run and play after them and stuff like that and they play chase or like she jumps up and down and stuff like that she is huge compared to them you know like they are almost the size of you know most of her muzzle and a tiny bit of her face like they're pretty much smaller than her face almost like her whole head so we have to really watch and make sure like she doesn't jump on top of them because you know, she'll hurt them if that's the case so um again we just need to be keep a very close eye on her um but yeah so we did that today but yeah it's a little bit like difficult not difficult but again just watching to make sure that she you know like we need to get them to be able to feel like they can come up to her as well and try and engage in the play versus just her doing that because like i was saying about what i was reading you know um but what did happen today which was good was that bravo was actually chasing her too like they had, you know they do like a play bow you guys don't have dogs <laughs> It's like where they will lean down with their heads down, like down to the ground, and they'll still stick their butt up in the air. Um, and like they did that, and then Bravo ended up chasing Bliss, which was good to see today. Um, but then, like, I think he gets either freaked out or he's tired, or else he just wants to be done, and he'll like go under the table or something like that. And then that's when we split him up. Um, because, you know, again, I don't want him to feel like he has to hide from her when he doesn't want to play with her anymore or whatever. So, yeah, it's a lot of very carefully watching the puppies but um yeah it was a fun experience um but we've been trying to do it in little increments and introduce the puppies and we also kind of too need more than one person to watch them and um you know two or three even people but like me just trying to do it by myself is not super easy because there's three dogs and only one of me so again trying to keep an extra eye on just the situation and body language and stuff like that to make sure no dog is getting too out of hand or something like that and you know or if a puppy is getting too out of hand I guess as well because sometimes they will you know and Bliss has every right to say hey no I don't want to play right now you know so anyway so guys I think I'm pretty much going to end it there because I'm going to get to finishing edit editing this one last vlog during this one last inning and then I'm going to take a shower and head to bed um yeah and then also too guys tomorrow we might get our garden finished which I know it's like June already we still don't have our garden in but um 
Matthew and Jack actually need to clean the garden and we've had the plants like we got them from a greenhouse but they just have not been planted yet like a few days ago we ended up getting them so they got to be planted but I'll pu probably show you guys that tomorrow anyways though so guys oh my goodness I don't know why after I had those blueberries it's making my throat all like it's making my throat like I can't like swallow right now <laughs> anyways though guys I'll see you all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love it if you'd subscribe and I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys